Okay, 26. Uh, okay, this is interesting because um, uh, how do I put it? So the diagram tells you that it is from a less optically dense medium to a dense optically denser medium, meaning that you, you can use this formula n equals to sine i over sine r. So what this formula is telling you is that if your y-axis is sine i and your x-axis is sine r, okay, then your gradient will always be equals to n. Okay, and uh, if you have this understanding, uh, it's going to be a positive one because all your refractive index is positive. So you know that c is out and uh, B is out. So you are left with A and D. Now, uh, how do you choose between A and D? Now, this N equals to sine over sine R. This N is the refractive index of the glass. And you know that the refractive index of the glass is definitely larger than the refractive index of air. Refractive index of air is equals to 1 and the refractive index of glass is definitely more than one. So the gradient that you are choosing must be larger than one. So if you look at option D, option D, you can see that, okay, this pencil thing that I draw, 0 0.5 to 0 0.5, 1 is to 1, this will give you a gradient of one. So if you're your this thing n is be, is uh, less steep than n equals to 1 it means that the gradient here will be less than 1 and you know that the refractive index of glass cannot be less than 1 it is a solid it has to be more than 1 so therefore your answer will be a so if you are not convinced again sketch out this this will be n equals to 1 and this will be n larger than 1 Okay. Okay, for question 20, it is a giveaway. Refer to the book. If you have studied, you should know the range. Okay, for question 28, uh, this is a. You have to do the uh, uh, ray diagram reverse. So, what I do is that I will do it again to show you how I deduce everything. So, I know the image is here. And I know the optical center is here. So uh, when you draw a ray diagram, this will always be a straight line. So draw the straight line first. So I know that this must be my first ray. Now uh, this is the focal point. So I know that from my focal point to the top of my image will be a straight line as well. So draw the straight line. This straight line when it passes through the lens okay it is going to be horizontal so I'm actually working backwards so go horizontal so what happened is that you see that these two ray actually coincide somewhere here above A so you know that the object must be standing somewhere here near A so therefore your answer A Uh, question 29 uh, pretty straightforward uh, if you read the book you should be able to um, uh, do the uh, do this question uh, gamma ray is a very energetical uh, it carries high energy so you don't use it to treat uh, medical treatment uh, it is too, the frequency is too high it will uh, be too damaging for medical treatment purposes so that's why it is out okay for question 30 if you are not sure why and all that refer to your textbook uh, there's a whole passage dedicated to explaining how to charge uh, a sphere so read that you, know, you have all the picture and uh, things there 